Okay, hello. Okay, we should be live. Let me know, guys, if you can hear it all. How does it sound? Is the audio okay? Does it sound all right? Is it all good? Okay, hello, everybody who's checking in. Hassan, pa Paul, Yaur, Scotty Boy, Hassan, Chiku, Scotty Boy, again. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you all over here. So let me see if I can pin this over here. Uh, how can I get it? How did that work again? Yeah, pop out chat. There we go. It's a bit better. Hello. Hello, people. So if you have any other questions, um, like just feel free to you know, leave them here. This is just a time where we have a chat. If you're here, if you're watching this back, um, you know, on YouTube as like the upload, then you can just chill and see this PC being built or like the service being done here and configuration um, while we're doing this. And if you have any other like quick creator questions, we'll just chat about that. Uh, I see a question over here. Here's a creator PC question. A Core i3 11100F and a GTX 1660 Super are good for Blender. Um, and in the future, if I were to upgrade, I would go for a 5600X or a Core i5 12600K. Mate, I think your uh, proportion is out of like place. Basically, what you want to go for is either 12400. Don't go with the F variant. I'm not sure if you've seen the video on my channel. I see a lot of creators make that mistake. Just don't go for the F variant. And a, G a GTX 1660 Super is an okay um, you know, graphics card, but try to go for the 12400 if you can, and then maybe upgrade to a 12600K. Okay. I have a question. If your builds are for creators, why don't you use a Quadro 9000, the 48 gigabyte one? Scotty Boy is asking. Uh, it's a good question. And the th reason for that is that those are still very, very expensive and hard to get. And it's easier to get, um, you know, GeForce cards rather than Quadro cards. They're not called Quadro cards. Now they're called um, A series cards. So it's like RTX A 5000, 6000 and so on. A6000 is the best one at the moment. 
but they are a little bit of rarer and they're very expensive. And to be honest, it will be interesting to make a video actually this and comparing like a A6000 versus RTX 3090 because they basically have the same GPU. How do they perform with each other? There's basically just uh, like a driver difference most of the time. It's just more stable and so on. And if you're like a big studio and things like that, you're doing feature films and things, then obviously you're most likely going to run Quadros or the A thousand A series cards now. But if you are like a maybe smaller business or like mid-range, you know, if your budget is maybe up to five thousand or something like that, you're not going to get a Quadro card because it just doesn't make sense for you and it's never made sense in this. Thoughts on the new Corsair release, like the new case? Yeah, looks pretty interesting. The uh, B, uh, what's it called? The Cooler Master one is very interesting as well. Very different case, even bigger than the Corsair one, I think. Can I recommend the mother motherboard around hundred to hundred and fifty dollar for work? Will upgrade soon, um, but depends what platform you want to go for. Um, honestly, I've seen some people post like a thousand dollar video editing or creator builds uh, on the internet recently. And this is, I've, I've seen some huge mistakes made. I, I can't believe uh, people are recommending this, to be honest, because there, there's so many mistakes and so many like bad decisions in terms of where you put the budget in and you're spending on wrong things and massively bottlenecking this and really not thinking about where you can upgrade this. So I think uh, after hopefully we finish this PC build, we're going to actually make an update on, um, you know, a $1,000 Creator PC, I'm going to make this video because I just don't want people to waste time and money on other PC builds. Yeah, sure, you can edit or work on it on the other builds that people are recommending. But the thing is, you can't, it's not like the best bang for buck and you would get so much better like things for your for money uh, or the, for the value of the money. So we just need to, first of all, pull some of the things out from this PC over here. This is an RTX 3090 over here. It's very balls to the wall PC that we are doing over here. So, so, so let's let's get this off over here. Love to see your breakdown on the new Cooler Master case. Oh, did you see that case as well? It's very interesting. It looks very different. I kind of like the front. It looks like a futuristic thing. Um, yeah, I enjoy it quite quite a bit. It looks looks interesting. Okay, let's get this card out from here. RTX 3090. Let's put that on the side over here. Then let's take the RAM out. Okay, this is quite a high-end RAM as well. 3600 megahertz CL14. So that's quite some RAM over there. Is RTX 3050 good for editing videos? Yes, it is. Here it is. Uh, I've actually edited, I'm editing the video of this at the moment. I haven't run the benchmarks yet. I've just done the first like impressions and things like that. But it is very, very impressive. Like, even though it's not sold at retail price in terms of, um, what in terms of, in terms of just, you know, price, it's not retail. It's still like the best option that you have for the budget because the other option for the same amount would be like a 1660 super and the 3050 is so much better than that so that's why i would go with the 13 uh, 3050 to be honest okay let me put these back In your, what if you use the B660 budget mobile and a 3050? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Uh, Jay Jager is saying, absolutely, you can do that. Go for it and do it. I just went for this card. 
and this motherboard for this uh, $1,500 motherboard because um, you don't want to really upgrade the motherboard. Like updating, upgrading the motherboard is kind of like the last thing in your list because it's such a faffy thing to do. Everything else comes off. Uh, and this is like a very expensive motherboard, really, like $290 or something like that. But it is the best DDR4 motherboard you can have for the 12th gen, like in terms of the most features for creators, fast USB connectivity, you know, Thunderbolt adding card support and so on. So that's why we went with this card, uh, this one. But you can go with cheaper models, absolutely. Okay, let's try to get this. Oh, there's some more. So, uh, AMD Ryzen 9 6950X AM5. What about 3050 in After Effects? Isn't good. Yeah, well, it's, it's not that good, but like compared to the competition for the safe, same price point, this is the best option. That's what I think I'm saying. Budget around 500 to 600, which motherboard you prefer, creator or gamer? Or are you saying you are a creator or gamer? It's this hal. What are you saying? Are you a creator and gamer? Is that what you're saying? Okay, we'll have to do a lot of unplugging here. Alrighty. Oh, beautiful cable management. Does, does anyone remember when we built this PC? Was anyone around that time when this got built? Look, the cable management is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wait a second. I'll show you this way. Look at that. Can you see? It's absolutely well done. Well, now we're just going to rip it all out and get it all off over here. All disconnected so we can get all of this out from here. Yes, I'm a gamer and creator dude. Then probably, uh, if you don't need a 10 gigabit board, which, I don't know which generation of motherboard you go for as well. There's like an MSI, if you're looking for a Z690 board, MSI Z690 Ace uh, motherboard. That's quite nice. Gigabyte um, Aero D motherboard is very good. I don't think this is out yet. I think I've, I've asked Gigabyte like when does it come out, but I don't know yet. The um, the obviously Z690 a creator motherboard from ASUS is good. If you're editing on Adobe Premiere Pro or you know Adobe products, then highly recommend you check out some of the Pro Art stuff because you get um, two or three months for free. Sorry, one or three months for free, depending on the product. Um, Adobe Creative Cloud membership, which is very, very good. And it's really going to get your cost down. If you pay for it anyway, might as well just, you know, do it and get the pro art stuff. 45 Street Production. Uh, for 6K, i7 or i9? Could you explain your question, please? I'm not sure where this is coming from. For Creator, Intel 12 900K or Ryzen 5950X? Okay, this week there is a video coming out, 12 900K versus 5950X, like comparing them head to head for creators. So if you want to see a deep dive, into that then wait for that video because you'll get all your answers um, over there okay. flipping heck is there a lot of wires okay let's see what's going on in here okay
Okay. Um, this case was used in the 36 year and 1660 build, right? Jay is saying no. This was actually the same. This is NZXD H710, uh, and the whole reason uh, this person wanted to get this case changed is because this is so bad for airflow and all the components inside start just heating up. And he started using this case with just panels off because uh, that's how it was only able to cool it down and keep it under kind of control. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, so many questions. That's like a bottleneck of the computer. It runs amazingly fast, but could it be better with a better GPU? Eager Snake is saying for Premiere Pro and 4K files. Yeah, definitely. Try to get uh, like a RTX 3060 or 3060 Ti or 3050, you should be seeing a massive difference because that, especially if you do a lot of, uh, that's, I'm answering to Eager Snakes, just built my own new PC uh, question. If, if you are um, doing a lot of color grading and things like that, that all goes on uh, GPU in Premiere Pro and that GPU that you have over there doesn't have a lot of just computing power to deal with, with with all of that so um, going with a better GPU over there you'll definitely see um, a difference it's much more electric for our a small performance boost in my opinion Scotty boy by the way if I had a choice between buying 12900k 5950x uh, what do you mean by it's more electric I'm not sure what you mean by that uh, Antonio Sepaj is saying plan to skip DDR4 for platform should I go with um, 12 Okay, let's put these screws on the bottom because we need to use them Should I go with 12400 and use the iGPU or should I wait for the AM5 platform and 6000 APU With RDNI iGPU I plan to use it for SketchUp and light 3d modeling I don't know honestly if you can wait wait if you want to buy something now and need to get work done, the 12400 is a good option. By the way, it's hard for me to see like all the comments and kind of uh, uh, like see what's going on. So just tag at Technotice like Antonio did. So that like pops up for me and it's easier to like see in the comment section below if you want some kind of question. If you just want to chat with someone else, don't tag me in it because otherwise it gets a little bit confusing over there and we lose focus what we're doing. Okay, let's put these uh, on the side there. Oh yeah, that's the ProAd Z690 build over there. And the graphics card is out over there because it's in a test bench, doing a Ryzen test bench on testing some of the Ryzen CPUs as well. Um, but this is basically my 12th gen setup over there. I think there's a 12700 in there at the moment because um, I was testing that one and like reviews coming out very, very soon. Very interesting CPU, by the way. Definitely worth checking out and waiting for the review for creators because it is truly um, like amazing over there. Okay, let's see. I think we're gonna just take the AIO off now. And then that's gonna get us out of the way. Hey, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so people can see what the heck's going on. Ha! Huh. Can you guys see that over there? Remember that PC? I'm streaming on that at the moment. Anyone remember that? Okay, 
Oh, Silva, thanks guys for tagging me on there. It's much nicer to see the um, see the build. If you just want to chat to other people, just go for it, you know. Um, wait a second. I'll just try to keep these NZXT ones separate. Okay, I'll put these over there, otherwise I won't remember. Um, Silver Work says, I have a 5950X, 16 four gigabytes of ram and a 3060 ti do you think it's a good machine or any advice on an upgrade honestly you're running absolutely amazing system like anything from above this point you're going to see negligible returns unless you're really like doing a lot of photo editing and things like that then like the 12th gen is faster with ddr5 but the costs what you would pay for the 12th gen silver oh sorry if it's uh, hope silver is your name um then it's it's just not worth it honestly you're running an amazing pc just just keep it a lot of people will be jealous to have that one it's even better than what i have i might have a 3070 which is very close to the 3060 ti but i'm running the 3950x which is a worse of a gpu than what you have over there Fifty nine fifty X Hassan is saying, "What's the best mid range GPU to buy to work fine with it? Thirty sixty Ti or thirty seventy? That's what I would go for." Okay, let's start cleaning up this block over here now. Sam, yeah. could you pass me the bin bag, please? A plastic bag. Yeah. Because I just need to. Oh, thank you. Morrison's. Just need to put some stuff in the bin over here. Um... Is it a full tower or a mid tower? Can a 3090 fit in a mid tower? Yeah, absolutely. David Ardred, absolutely 3090 can be fit in the mid tower, depending on a mid tower, but yeah, most of them you can. I'm not sure which uh, question you did exactly refer to, but yeah, that's the one. Please, not with this case. Oh, don't worry, we're taking this out from this case and putting it on a different case okay so that's that let me do a little bit of a clean on the cpu as well thermal paste everywhere don't worry if people think i'm actually building in this case i'm not building in this case we're ripping it up the new case is over there we just need to take all the parts out so we can get it out from there scotty boy is saying when the 3090 ti comes out will you do a bit about it for creators yeah if i can get it into the hands of me here uh, maybe some of my good partners can lend it for me so we can test it um, I finally built a GPU um, test bench so now we can have comparable reviews comparis comparable reviews between GPUs um, so previously you know if you have a different system all the time you can't do that but now it's over there so we can uh, build and compare different GPUs over there so let me let me see Okay, let's see if this stays up there. I don't want to actually screw it off. Okay, if we can get these off. How much RAM for daily use depends what you do. If you just use the PC for like, you know, small things, 
then uh, 16 gigabytes is fine, like just browsing the web or anything. If you do video editing or any creative work, 32 gigabytes is like the minimum I always recommend. Is laptop better or a PC according to you for gaming? I think PCs are always better. If you just look for like the ultimate answer, PCs are better. How long am I gonna stream, sir? Jay is saying, I don't know, as long as we get this PC finished. Oh, come on. Okay, these guys don't wanna come out so well. So easy. Wait, I need, I'll help it from the other side a little bit. Okay. Far Cry is saying 5600X or 12600K or wait for the upcoming Raptor Lake. Um, I'm not sure what you do. So always when you have a question, tell me like what you do because, you know, if you say, should I wait for this or upgrade this? It's like kind of hard to know until you really know what you're doing because it really depends what you're doing. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get the motherboard out now. So. If I build an overkill rig for 3D work, would it be too much to think it's also overkill f for gaming? I guess depends which part you use, uh, but most likely if it's overkill for 3D work, it will be very good for gaming as well. Thanks guys for tagging me in there. It's much easier to see the see the comments over there. We're taking the motherboard out now. The build is going to get much more exciting once we uh, once we hit the to the new case. This is just like a tear down of this because when we get to the new case then things are going to start to evolve much better, go much nicer. Okay. Gaming and streaming, a little bit of video editing, then 12600K is a good option. But always, like, if you can wait, wait by all means. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy out now. Careful, does it? Okay. There we go. X570 Unify from MSI. I'm just going to put it up there, out of the way. Alrighty. And then I think now we can pretty much just leave these 
empty just hanging over here let me put the back panel on well then Okay, I'm going to put a few screws on the top back to keep the radiator in. Hi guys, looking from India, seeing from India. keep this cooling over there Scotty boy is saying how I was wondering how you afford all this stuff as a as your tents are small compared to other tech chances like LTD and J's two cents and so on yeah they're very big uh, guys but like most of the guy you see on the channel guys just so you know sorry I'll come in the shot Scotty boy as well and so everyone can hear see they're for loan for a lot of companies I'm working with so I can make this helpful like content to you and and then I'm earning my living through the sponsors on the channel and that's how I can do it the sponsors uh, you know pay a little fee to get their ad shown within the video or something like that so that's how I'm able to make a living and you know make this helpful content to you and that's what I'm uh, what I'm about. And I think there's a little bit of a different niche here that I have than what other tech YouTubers have as well, which is a little bit different. Everyone focuses on gaming, which I don't do at all. Because I don't think there is any other channels that focus on creators, video and photo editors and, you know, renderers and renderers for people like that. So I think that's why brands are more likely to work with tech notice or they want to do this as well because... It's a different market um, that, but like I don't, I don't buy any of this stuff. It's mostly for, um, you know, it's on a loan. That's how it works. You loan something. Sometimes they let you keep some of the things, but whenever I'm asking to keep the things, it's not because I'm using this. Like all the stuff that gets sent to me, I am investing back into testing things. So all the things I like, you'll see, I've got a personal rig update in a moment coming out this week I think you'll see like what what I've done um but this is this is not like massive upgrades you know all the stuff that gets sent is just for another test rig setup and for um just testing different things so I can make more helpful content to you and so on like renting a car Scotty boy exactly exactly oh yeah but yeah but yeah but yeah but Okay, let's put this in the back over here and then we can start. Oh. Okay, does anyone know what case we're going to be using? I have seen loads of people use, sorry, that case uh, before, but I've never really built on it. Uh, I have never seen interest in this until this person said, why don't we go with this case for this build? And then I said, sure, because I think it's very, very interesting. If you're not sure, if you don't know what case this is, this is the Lee & Lee O11 Dynamic XL case. So... bit of this over here let's try to get this out now
Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's the case. Let's see if we can get it opened up over here. Top panel comes off. Well, there's not a lot of space in here. Okay, I don't know how, to, how these come off. We'll have to see. Anyway, this is for the top panel. Let's see. We'll have to read some instructions on this one, actually. I'll have to see how these panels come off. I've never built in this one before. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What case is that? By the way, everything that I've, I'm using this, I'll link in the description below. Um, so, oh, wait a second. It says it's higher than what I have over here. Better. Everything I'm talking about are linked in the description below. Thank you for your purchase, Lee and Lee. Okay. Let's see. Case components. Okay. Oh, I think it comes up. Yeah, there we go. It just comes up like that. See? It's always easier than, than you think. Okay, does this one come up with that sort? Yeah, okay. That's very easy. That's open. Alrighty. Bum, 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 bum. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, Mudbot goes over there. What do we see? That's cool. One of the cool thing about this case is that it has um, like hot swappable HDD a base, like 3.5 inch things. So if you want to, you can just slot them in the back there, boom. It's just like hot swappable, which is pretty, pretty cool. So let me see, see, see what we are doing here. Yeah, our motherboard, they go in there. We need to get these. Panels off as well. Oh, okay. Side panel comes off like that as well. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. Can I change the camera? Yeah, of course I can. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? Let's see on the back of the case over here. Taking these off. 
because we are going to be running a lot of fans in here. And then, okay, I think this comes off over here as well. So let's take this off so we can really start working on it. Okay, just reminding people, if you want me to answer any questions, let me know uh, by tagging me, at Technotis, like Victor has done over there or something. Oh, there's some questions over there. Um, Victor is saying, hi Technotis, what RAM can I fit in Corsair 5, uh, sorry, 4000D case with Noctua NHD 15? Should I go only with low profile RAM like Cross or Vengeance LPX for enough clearance? No, like the NHD 15, the clear is all RAM. Like you can even go with the, uh, sorry, Dom Platts from Corsair and you can still like fit it in there, no problem. It's just some people think that you can't um, run the first fan like a little bit higher, but that's how Corsair has done it so that the first like RAM uh, fan in your NHG 15 can be a little bit higher than that, and the, then like the RAM can fit underneath over here. So it's absolutely no problem, you know, when you do that. Scotty boy, which one is better, Linux or Mac OS? Honestly, I would prefer Mac OS. I know Linux is like a little bit of a niche thing, but I think I would prefer Mac OS. I think it's just easier to find compatibility with some of the uh, like uh, other programs and things like that. So let's take some of this off over here. And that one. Over there. And then let's start installing fans. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Arctic, I hope you're watching this because we're using a lot of Arctic products in this build and it's going to be absolutely awesome. So let's hope that. Tad D is saying 12600K plus Z690 or I7 12700K plus B660. Both are a bit about the same price, but planning to do, but not planning to do any overclocking. I'm working with 4K mirrorless footage in DaVinci Resolve 12700 and B660. If you don't need the fast USB connecting ports or connector ports, then go for the B660 and 12700. The 12700 with, it's roughly about $65 or something like that um, more than the 12600, but it offers in DaVinci Resolve roughly about, I think you have to see my reviews coming out soon, with the 12700, I think it was like 8% more performance than the 12600K, but it's just snappier, a little bit more, a single core performance over there, and so on, so it's all, it's all good, it's all very good, very good. Let's see, how does it go? Okay, this, two, three. Okay, I think we're gonna put the top one back. 
it goes like goes like that. that and then I think three of them will go in so what are we thinking yeah pushing pulling in air like that one one two Three, yeah, because we want coal there to come in from there. Okay, then let's start screwing. this case the other way so the fan configuration how we want to do it is pulls in air from there and then on the bottom out from here AIO on the top and then we're pushing out from there so we have a lot of positive pressure um, to get these guys working so the question is I think we're gonna put the fans on this side, like that. Pulling air in from the, from the side. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, should the fans be on this side or on the other side? I'm gonna put the fans on this side just because it, it takes them from some other things. Yep. So. think if I do this will these go through these holes over there no okay which way should these go then I think let me see what what are they saying over here Okay, the saying still don't put that one in there. Well, let's not put it there then. This one over there. Not gonna put it in there. I'm gonna keep it, keep it off. But they say put the fans in. So I'm gonna let the fan screws let them come in from this side. Then coming out from there. Like that. Alrighty. to build it something like that over here so you can see what's going on um, ok 
can you make the video about the best keyboard and mouse for creators? Already done. It's scheduled for, I think, 3rd of March. Because um, I'm often working ahead. Like, you're making videos and then you're scheduling ahead. So you can take actually some time off from YouTube as well if, if you need to. Um, it's coming out on 3rd of March. What is the main motto to buy the best of the best cabinet for more HDD support? 300 measure a big GPU support. I'm not sure what you mean, Far Cry. Could you expand on your question, please? Oh, Scotty boy, why are they crying? Oh, they were just fighting downstairs or something like that. That's it, it's normal kids, normal kids. It's not new Evo case. This is uh, this is the O11 dynamic over here. Okay. Okay. These three fans are connected. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a cable management thing over here. So, these are the PWM connectors. So I guess we'll just pull all these on the other side and we'll do it on the other side. over there and then there is fans on the bottom here are going the same way for pulling air in so one but actually the all the fan cables and put in the back back side there we go Like this, like that, and like that. This is going to get some great GPU airflow. Okay.
why everybody prefers big cases than big cabinets future proof or something i guess um big cabinets also have an airflow advantage and your uh, components run cooler if you are into that type of thing if you like your things to run cooler then big cases have an advantage of that check 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 just double checking all my audio yeah it's coming through Jay Rager, do you reply on Instagram? Um, as much as I can. I like to reply to people. Uh, but I'm running this and my family and everything. So you don't have time for everything as much as I'd like to. Ryzen 9 5900X versus Intel i7 12700K for Adobe Suite, mainly for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Please tell us, sir, uh, the i7 is better than the um, Ryzen 9 5900X for sure. The 12700K is the best 12-core CPU now for video editors. Unless you're doing Blender, um, like rendering or something like that, or V-Ray, then the Ryzen is better. But for video editing, the 12700K is much better because the combination of the very high single core performance and the iGPU and all these things add up, which makes the Intel chip much better. Especially if you go with DDR5, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to be a better chip. If you had... To sit behind a desk for eight hours a day, would you get a small sofa or an office chair? Office chair. Office chair is much better. Like, spend some time researching which one is a good office chair. Like Herman Miller, I think. There's one uh, company that's called that. Um, and then invest into that because your posture and how you're holding yourself on a office chair is much better than on a sofa. Far Cry first was LTD. Wow. I'm hoping I'm doing a better job than LTD, which is hard to hard to do because this guy's built like PCs for decades now. But hey, who has that many fans in here? We are having three, six, nine, ten fans over here. So ten fans, four screws each, that's forty screws. I think we don't need a big Lee and Lee O11. Well, this one over here, you want this uh, over here if you want the 360 millimeter AIO and lots of airflow and it's gonna run very cool. So that's why we're going with this one. Scotty boy, if you, depends which Ryzen you go for your blender work. Like the 12400, the lower end of Ryzen's are better than uh, lower end of Intel ones for Blender, for example, 12400 is better than 5600X. Um, but the higher end ones like 5900X versus 12700, the 5900X and 5950X are better than 12900K and 12700K. Alrighty. Go in now. Let's have a look. Uh oh. Flipping egg. I'm not going to be looking forward to the cable management in the back over there. It's going to be quite, quite some cable management over there. Mm 
goodness me. There's a lot of fans in there. Twelve seven hundred k guys. Just remember to tag tag me if there's a question for me. If you're not chatting to each other, try to tag me. Um, which is better for twelve seven hundred k AIO or an air cooler? Well, there is uh, both options really. Whatever you want to go for, but even air cooling is fine. But I think you want to go for a little bit of a higher air cooler if you want to go for twelve seven hundred k. If you're looking for ultimate cooling for twelve seven hundred k, then obviously. AIO is better. So now I think we're going to be putting the motherboard in. Let me see if we can use the same screws or is there. Let me see if there's. I oh know it came with that, so we don't actually need to get this off. Just remembered this over here. Hmm. Whoa. Is this GPU sack bracket here? Is this actually? I oh, know it's for that. That thing, isn't it? Okay. Um, oh, we needed one more cable from there. Never mind. We'll do it later. So then uh, there is... I think we're going to put the motherboard in now. Wait, I'll just look for the right motherboard screws. Okay, before we do that, I need a motherboard box. Motherboard box. Okay. Because these need to come off now. Because these were the... Uh, NZXT ones, but our AI over here needs a different one. Okay. What's uh, motherboard does this system use? Uh, I've left the links for everything in the description below as well if you want to find that out. But this one is the uh, oh, comes with an RGB controller, I guess. 
I guess that's no, it's an RGB controller. It's the fan hub. <laughs> A twelve volt though. Are these twelve volt RGBs? No, they're not twelve volts, these are five volt. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I'll have to read the manual. Always consult the manual. So with Arctic, what you do is you go like that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, my mom. Same as your PC, except the mobile GPU would be B60 basic for oh, the Premium Pro. Okay, Scotty Boy, 5800X or 12400 for Blender, both kind of mid range. Um, the 5800X is better for Blender, but at that point, I'd probably go for 12600K. Uh, let's see. Are we revision revision two? Um. Okay. Let's see, I have four sockets. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Need to use the joints, okay. Two seconds. Okay, we're going to take this one out. It's always good, like reading these over here because. You never know how this is going to go. Okay. I think we're using this one over there. Okay, this goes to the AIO. Hmm, that makes five. That's cool. And pop, 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 pop. Okay, how does this go? Ram. Let's use this. Oh, is it flashing? Let's see. Well, it's flashing. Let's not use that one then. I'll turn this off. Alrighty. So, which holes are we going to be using? I am. Um, uh, for rise of offset mounting, oh, yeah, we're gonna go offset mounting so the top screws, right? Top one, top one, yep. I'm gonna do the top one, I am four spaces. Side. All 
Friday. Sorry guys, I'm just getting a bit distracted here with all these flipping screws and different bags of stuff. Okay, these go here. I'm glad they're using the plastic spacers these days. Okay, goes in. And then, are these the screws we're using now? Yeah, I think so. These long screws. Mm -hmm. It's so important to read like these uh, instructions with AIOs and motherboard cooler installers because they all have like different mounting mechanisms and for different sockets there's different screws to use the same screws make sure that your like cooler is actually this the right distance from the cpu super super important let me just okay and then to the top holes in there Okay, let's see what people are saying now again. This one. And this one. Whoa. I've left. Left it for quite a bit. So someone saying, you getting screwed over by a bag of screws. That's very funny. There's a pun for you there. Will you be getting a discrete Intel GPU to try hyperencode on Resolve? Will it offer speed gains in real world video project encoders or bottlenecked by GPU processing? I am very excited about the Intel upcoming GPUs. For what they have said on their keynotes on CES, it looks like we can get something very, very exciting over there. So I am definitely excited to check that out, uh, like what they're doing. Because for creators especially, I think it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be an awesome little piece of hardware over there that we should be excited about okay no bin over there yep all screw holes right Now let's screw the motherboard in. Standing by for my review. Yeah, for creators, I think they have a lot of interesting thing over there because they have very good uh, iGPUs over there. Um, and both of their graphics cards are like awesome. So uh, I definitely am interested in seeing what Intel does with their stuff. Okay. Just don't want this to interrupt our live stream. There you go. Okay. Do I think the twelve nine hundred K with Arc GPU is good for Blender? I think so. I think it could be very, very interesting. Can I do 1080p video editing on a 12600K without a dedicated GPU wedding project 30 minutes? Uh, yeah, I think so. If you don't do a lot of like color grading, absolutely you can do, no problem. As, 
as soon as you start putting like color grade on, uh, it starts to be a bit like, um, I don't think you're able to manage quite then because then you need a lot of like kind of graphics processing power to um, calculate all that. But if you just do simple like cutting and splitting and, you know, stuff like that, then absolutely you can, no problem at all. Okay, one more screw in the corner over there. Our MSI Ventus GPU series not really not that good. No, they're all right. Nothing wrong with them. I guess if you compare it with some of the better cooled ones, then you're like, okay, yeah, you know, you can see why Ventus isn't maybe the best, but still, come on. Are car racing games and other racers heavy? What budget GPU would you recommend? I don't know. Gaming, uh, it's not me. Leave it to someone else who does a lot of gaming on this channel. We focus on the creator, so that's what I plan to do over here. Okay, then. So let's get this guy out over here. Okay. RGB over there and this so the cooler we're using for this now over here is an upgrade as well for the uh, what the previously were running over there so previously it was an NZXT Kraken I think X 70 570 something like that can't remember exactly um, but now this is Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 millimeter. Um, let me just double check. Oh no, there's some screws. There's one, there's two. And I am loving these coolers. You'll see in a personal rig upgrade uh, this week, it's coming out. Uh, I've got, I upgraded my personal rig as well to an Arctic Liquid Freezer 420 millimeter AIO. So it's super quiet and super cool. Like I'm running a 16 core 13950X. Okay, it's not as hot as like Intel processors, but it's really hard to push it past 70C. And like the PC doesn't make any noise, the fans are like completely, completely quiet. Okay, let's see. What's going on over here? Oh. Okay. There we go, that's going there. This is gonna be going underneath. And then I think we're gonna go tubes in the front. Yep. And then let's fit this radiator in there. Let's see how it's gonna go in. I think before we're gonna put that in there, I'm just seeing I'm probably gonna be uh, putting some of the cables in first especially the the CPU power cable because that's going to be hard to do afterwards and we have these nice beautiful white cables so see 
MSI Ventus and Gaming X, or is it the same? In terms of graphics performance, it's the same. In terms of cooling performance, the Gaming X is a better cooler. That's it, really. There isn't any difference. There might be a little bit of a clock speed difference, but honestly, like for creative differences, it's it doesn't make any difference. Okay. One. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. There we go. Another one. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's going on over here? No, that way. Let's get these comms in. I think I personally will love this build much more than the the previous design. I think black and white are absolutely like awesome combo. How they just work with uh, other colors and so on. So I am happy to see that there. Right, let's take this off for a moment. Sorry, just trying to get this stuff over here. Okay, it's up far. From here, that's it. Okay. Okay, I'm just getting this hard drive, hard drive cage off the top one. I'm gonna leave the bottom one. Oh. take the top one off just because I would love some space behind behind there so that my like CPU power will go through there so I'm gonna take this off Your video with um, Jared and Benji was very informative. Yeah, and I enjoyed that quite uh, a lot as well. And um, this uh, Friday, we're going to be recording with um, Matthew Monies. Monies? Monies? I think that's how you spell I'm not sure how you actually pronounce his um, surname. But he's a big creator as well. So if anyone has any idea. Does anyone know Matthew Monies? Monies? Anyone, let me know, because uh, it would be um, interesting to know what you guys would love to know from him. Like when we have a chat with him, what's what's your thoughts, you know, what would you like to know, what you would like to hear from him as a creator, what would you like to know from him? Okay, let's get those cables in. So... Looking nice over here. Let's 
get these cones. Nicely built over there. Okay. Now when this goes over there. Now it's As you can see, it's like pushing on those back cables a little bit, but we're gonna get this in no problem at all. So let me get the screws for that. These two screws for this. Yep. So it's one in from there. Gonna hold it in over there, and then we're gonna do the other side over here. Okay, to putting the radiator in. Uh, come on. Uh. Once it holds on with two, now we're talking. Okay, any questions? Whoa. Uh, which is better for heavy content creating RTX 3090 or RTX A6000? RTX A6000 is better. The price is higher as well. No, RTX 3090 isn't better. The A6000 is better. It's got a few more extra CUDA cores. It has more VRAM. It's better. better. Okay. Hi guys, let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Siren. Siren. Haha. <laughs> the person who's who I'm building this for, you can see it there on the comments. There we go. It looks very, very nice. Just a lot of work and, <laughs> oh man, you don't want to see on the other side. Oh, it looks ridiculous. Okay. From India, from Earth, well done. From, from India, again. From US, whoa, in the US it's like right like in the middle of the night, isn't it, Mark? Like what time is it in the US, Mark? From Beijing, Han. Wow, that's pretty cool. USA. Okay, one last screw and come on, then we're in. One last screw for this. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love how these are over there. This looks very, very nice. USA, yeah, 625 AM. Ah, oh, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Then, for you guys, a lot of people from India, East Coast. I can see, like, on the views of, like, how, what, how many people are watching. Like, slowly, I think US is waking up. And they're like, hello, what's going on over here? 
we're building a PC and a very nice PC, super powerful PC. Okay, I'm gonna be putting the AIO now, plugging this in. It's gonna go in just like that, but just making sure that it goes to the right holes. Where's my phone again? Because there's lots of different holes. With this cooler, by the way, just if you knew that this comes with two separate mounting options and I'm going with the offset because it offers a little bit of a better cooling. So I'm just double checking because there's three different holes it can go in. I just want to make sure that I am putting it in the right ones. Okay, so it's, it's those ones over there, right? Okay, yep, these go in there. But before we're gonna do that, I am actually gonna clean the CPU and socket with isopropanol and this over here. Then we have these nubbins here to plug in this one. These we can all clean up. They are gonna go in here. Okay, in the bin, go on, we've got some thermal paste over here, there we go, this stream woke me up lol, huh, <laughs> hello Nelson, I'm west 325 a.m. in India, 5 p.m., I guess that's not too bad. Who's got the worst timing? Come on, who's watching the most like in the night time? Let me know what time this is. Okay, we're gonna clean the CPU up over there. Get all the residue from the other previous that. As you can see over here, can you see very closely? Let's see if it focuses. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Can you see those black spots over there? Like that's all that stuff that can affect performance. So just cleaning it all up over there with alcohol because it's alcohol it evaporates very quickly and we can reapply the thermal paste very soon so this is going to go on make sure that you take the sticker off from the bottom over here before applying this on there okay and then take the thermal paste that was actually included over there. This is very good thermal paste as well, one of the best. This is Arctic MX-5 thermal paste. Now I've got this big tube over here for, oh, it's behind there, a big tube over there. But for us, we're gonna be putting quite a big line over there. That will do, that will go over there. Better to have more than little. In our case, I'm literally squeezing the whole tube on there because that's really gonna get into all of the cracks and irregularities. What time is it in here? This is uh, half 10 for us, so 11.30 in here. Okay, let's mount this guy over here. Once it goes on, we have to keep pressure on. We don't release the pressure on it because you don't want to ruin the thermal paste. Okay, this is a bit tricky now. Okay, 
let's start tightening, tightening this up over here. check in everything uh, yes a.m. 1130 a.m. okay some notes that goes over there boom 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 okay all right yep that's that's the AIO install over there. I'm going to leave it, this over there like that. And then this is going to be easy over here. We're going to be pulling these up over there. So let's plug this one in. in the back over there let's run this in the back over there as well this is the RGB alrighty so that's in it's starting to look a bit more like like a PC now okay and um, next of what we're gonna be doing is let's put the other cables in over here I'm using Colgate toothpaste on my core duo CPU and it's really cool as well it probably is probably works really really well so half past 11 for me hey my question is um, I am running a 5900X and a cheap B450 motherboard MSI B4, max with heat sinks, etc. If I buy a high-end X57D, does it give you bef better performance? No, not really. Unless you are using, if you want to use PCI Gen 4, um, then you might get a little bit of a like SSD improvement, but not really. So let's get these comms sorted out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's put this in. It looks really, really good over there. You guys don't see much because it's quite dark over here. There. sorted here this white is gonna look very nice over there these are gonna go later on for the GPU before we're gonna do the GPU I want to start doing some of the cable management because Dudes, I'm not looking forward to this. Look at this side. Oh my goodness. Okay. Move this back a bit. Okay. 
what's going on over here guys if you're just tuning in please tag me like some people have done before at tech notice because then that highlights and then i can really see like uh, what we're doing and how we i can help you and what's the question because otherwise it's hard to just notice what's going on so i think might as well now i'm gonna goodness me this is like programming I don't know what's over here. This is insane. Okay, let's put this in the back over there as well. Alrighty. This goes back in. Okay, this is EVGA 1000 watt power supply. Plenty of juice to, uh, you know, cover this over here. Okay, let's see. Let's go in. Happy neck. This is going to be a long time we're going to be doing this build. Okay, this is good that we have some space over here now. Um, I'm gonna put the last fan in the back over there as well. And then, this is gonna be exhaust. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Okay. Okay, here's a question to all the viewers over here. Uh, what type of creator are you? Are you a video creator? Thought editor? Are you self-employed? Do you work for some kind of uh, company? Let us know what's going on. I'd love to know from you. What case am I using over here? Sorry, Mark. Um, everything that I am talking about, I have left in the description below if people want to check them out uh, what's like parts exactly I'm using in here this is very high-end cooling uh, very high-end AIO for this probably the best in the world at the moment uh, according to the benchmarks like gamers Nexus if you've seen his channel he's like cooler reviews this is the on the top of the chart the only one that leads this is just a 420 millimeter version of this but um, that's like in like uh, high-end um, workstations, but you need a completely different case to have a 420 millimeter one, because obviously this doesn't fit um, in there. So that fan is installed as well. Okay, let's start to do some of the cable management then. Over here then, photo editor. Okay, this wiring wall though, hilarious. When it all looks awesome, I mean, look at all this. Goodness me. This is going to be interesting. So what was I going to do? Um, oh, yeah, I'll take this off now. There we go. So, 3.5. Let's see, what's this over here? Okay, front panel. Let's put that to go in there goes in there comes down from here wait a second where are these 
Oh yeah. Definitely need some of these for this cable management. This and we're gonna put this in there as well. Alrighty. Let's see where's the best place to put this one comes in from there. So let's add this from here. in there which means we can probably tighten this up over here okay the front panel connectors uh, where's the front panel is that hmm I'm gonna have to check this now a while since I built in this case front panel I think that's that one over there right okie dokie uh, let me just leave this to come out on the bottom over there put it in the right places I'll figure it out on the other side later. So, photo editor, video editor. Can I do a mini ITX build with Intel 12th gen? Yes, it is already planned. It is, I've got all the parts waiting over there. Look at that. Mini ITX, uh, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. I have a case that I've been like wanting to show you guys for a very long time. I think it's going to be an awesome case because it supports the same radiator, this 360 millimeter AIO with a thick rad like it is on these um, liquid freezers from Arctic. It can actually go inside that case, so it's going to be exciting. We're just waiting for a PCIe uh, 4.0 riser to arrive. So that's why I haven't been able to do that yet. Okay, let's see, where is this? That goes over there, that's good. Okay. This is gonna have to go on the top over there as well. And then, let's see. Well, 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 probably isn't going to reach from the top, so this needs to go from the, through the bottom. This USB-C, okay. You go right down over there. And then, way down here, to the other side. Okay, USB C in. What's going on? Okay, these are all the fan cables. We can do this separately. This and this. These are the SATA cables. I'm gonna actually plug these in just because might might use SATA afterwards, so let's plug it in over here. So this can be now 
Let's go somewhere over there. Let's see what else is going on. Let's separate the power supply. Okay, cables on that side. This on that side. These on that side. These on that side. Sorry guys if I'm being a little bit not so uh, active with some of these questions. Just trying to focus to get all these plugged into the right place. Okay, I think that one only has one header. So, we're... No, has it got two? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, there's there's another one obviously over there. This goes in on the bottom. Right behind there. Plugs in over there. What else is here? Okay, HD audio. That goes in as well. By the way, people, if you're using front panel audio and you're expecting like the best sound quality, then the back of the motherboard audio is always better than the front panel audio. Just so you know. Alrighty, let's tackle this RGB then. This is, is it one? Yep, one SATA. Okay, let's see, fan connectors this way. This goes on the bottom. Can I tighten this up somehow over there? Oh, uh, wait. Is there any? No zip ties. Honestly, no zip ties with this case. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, <laughs> then, okay. There we go. Let me just tighten this up over here. RGB over there. So that RGB will leave that one over there. This over there, if there was a long. We don't have one. So I guess it's alright. That'll leave that one. Let's see what we can tighten up over there. No, I wish there was something sort of like one corner bracket option over there as well, so we could. Tighten all this up into there. But I guess we don't. Let's see. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to use. I'm not sure if they're meant to be used for that, but I'm going to be using this. Oh no, there is no. There's no bolt, can't use it. Never mind, never mind. I was gonna use these. There's some holes over here. Tighten this up on the top there, but uh, can't do that. Okay, so let's see the RGB fan type of situation over here then. Where are they all? Okay, there's this. There's the fans going in over there. 
So if I put this on the motherboard, let me see, is there any headers on the top? Where are the RGB headers here? One there, okay, two. All righty then, well. Let's put this cable from there. Oh, okay. Oh, the camera. Sorry, guys. Did the battery die over here? Okay, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. I'm getting it back. I'm back in. I'm getting back. I think the battery had died. Alexa, charging station on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Phew. Um, oh, I lost all my, lost my track now. Okay, so this is the RGB from there. I think we're going to be connecting this into this RGB that comes into these fans. So let me think. It goes into okay moves um what oh is that a twelve volt okay that's a twelve volt so that's gonna be different. Let me just double check that it is a 12 volt header uh, for this. Yeah, okay, so that's good. The That socket that goes differently, so that goes into the 12 volt. That 12 volt, yep, goes over there. So that's different. Okay, let's see which way does it go. 12 volt on the left. Is that on the left the arrow is 12 volt right yep okay so that's gonna e make it easier a little bit so that's that RGB sorted now from the back Where's this back fan? The back fan I want to control separately. So let's see if we have. An option over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I feel like I'm going to put this into. Is there one over there? Is there one over there? No, no, no. So let's plug it in over there. Okay. Wait a second. That would be that would be easier if we did that. Let me plug that in. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What can we unplug? Can unplug that. Okay. There we go. That's better. Oh, still camera. 
Uh, how long has this been there? Sorry, guys. Uh, what is it? Just press OK. Sorry, guys. How long was this there? Did I? Oh, my goodness. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's full of... Ah, uh, full of big... Uh, see, that's why I need someone else to, like, look after... Um, those things for me because can't like focus on everything by yourself so the back fan header a lot of plugging in over here okay there we go once it all turns on, we're all going to celebrate solid five minutes, three minutes. Oh, my word. I just fell off my chair laughing. So, sorry, guys. Uh, I was just so focused trying to get it into the four pin. There's no, like, no room over there trying to put it in there. Whew, that was hard work. Okay, let's see. That RGB is going to connect into this RGB over here. So the male goes into the female. And I'm also going to tape those connectors together because where are they now? There we go. I don't want them to get loose because then you're going to lose the RGB. Okay, that's going to connect into this one. What happened with my camera? Just the uh, the battery died. Wait a second. I'm just going to put the charger on, on this one. Come on, is it working now? It should, there we go. It's charging it as well now. The charger wasn't completely plugged in, so I didn't quite figure that out. Okay, so this RGB now goes to the second one over here. So that male goes into this female over here. Let's see. Okay. Is it okay to continue with that, Cam? Yeah, absolutely. It's just because I'm using third-party batteries it gives me this warning, you know, but it's completely fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, yes, and now this one. Wait a second. Now this goes into the motherboard means I'll have to connect it the wrong way. Great. Oh, RGB makes me go crazy. I have to really know which way the signal travels over here. So, basically, it's this that connects into this here okay do some mini ITX greater PCs it's coming it's coming the case is over there I'm just waiting for some of the parts to arrive it takes a long time to organize one build um, to like talk to all the people saying look I want to make this build you know can we can we get these parts and things so that's why um, takes a while so now this goes into this one right that's the second one yes wait a second are we doing the right thing now okay that goes in there went to this one this one plugs into this guy over here
and then this guy plugs into there we go this guy over here It's gonna look awesome indeed. Like this is absolutely looks hilarious at the moment. Like what the heck is going on? But I promise when we all turn it on, make it all white, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Let me double check this over here. So this is, okay. This is a 12 volt one, so no. We're gonna fry it if we put our five pins over there. So it's all right, completely fine. We're not gonna use this. Just gonna plug it all straight to the motherboard. Where was our connectors over here? Okay, here we are. Now let's move on to the bottom, to the bottom over here. So how many headers do I have over there? Okay, one in the corner over there. And then, yeah, let's just daisy chain them all together. Well, actually, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna plug this into over here now, and then to the other three separately, because I think we're gonna get lots of signal loss or it might not be as bright if we have all six fans daisy chained together. So I'm going to daisy chain the bottom three fan together. Chipping in for an extra battery. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for that. But the uh, original batteries for this, these cameras cost like 100 quid. So that's why I'm using third par party batteries. Thanks, Mark, though. Helps me a lot. Um, let's see where are we coming through okay this over here over there so that plugs in okay why don't we do this it that way and this is gonna plug in over there and plug that in Okay, so that's that. And where's the the RGB for that? Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna connect that on the back of this. This is the fan, right? Okay, two fans. That goes in there. Um, this goes in here. And then this goes into this one. Okay, oh, that was a good fit. But this one, we need some, some tape on there. Okie dokie. Sorry, guys, I know this looks like quite boring. And like, what the heck is this guy doing? Like, plugging like 10,000 cables into trying to daisy chain them together. It's like lost its plot. Okay, let's see if the RGB, we can get it working, we can get it working. Okay, I need one of those, uh, yeah, these over here. All nice and tidy. Oh, come on.
Sorry, I, I know you guys might have thought that I lost my audio, but I actually didn't. Okay, come on. Let's make this work now. Okay. Uh, okay, how are you guys doing? Anyone still alive? Who's who's gonna who can wait till uh we turn this guy on because we're very close to turning this guy on. Okay, last things to do are the um the fan cables, fan headers, because all the RGB is done. So now the fan headers. Okay, that was plugged in. So let's do these now. Okay, fan headers here. And then fan headers on the bottom. And then we're almost done. Okay, very close now. Very close. Uh, we need this cable, this cable. And then this cable. Let's see, where's our system fans? Okay, one's over there. And then let's put these on the top over there. Let's do them separately. Okay, so these for now. Okay, let's do these first. These are gonna go all into there on this side so plugs in comes on the back this and then comes on the back over there alrighty if you're tuning in and if you have any creator questions please feel free to let me know I'd love to uh, answer or help you if I can that's why we're making this live stream so that we can chat and make this happen um, for people who want to get a little bit of an input in their build or what they're thinking about building or so on. So, um, okay, let's see. Uh, this is going to go not two ways. bit better and then now bottom fins by the way is the owner of the PC in the chat he was before I'm not sure if he's still watching um, okay that plugs in so goes in the back this one goes in the back
Yeah, there he is on the chat. Look at them. Mr. McKee, he is on the chat. Okay. Let's get this on the other side. Alrighty. Okay, that's in now as well. These are all in there. Now, let's see if we can plug in the big cables. That should hold down the smaller cables underneath. So we need, let's see. Okay, okay. We have the motherboard plugged in over here. I think we can easily put that cable somewhere over there. Um, I think I might. I wish there was zip ties in this in this case because. Um, basically, I think you're going to have to leave loads of the cables dangling over here. So we have one, two SATA cables, right? SATA power. Let's see, that goes for the GPU. So the GPU will come up from there, right? Okay, dokie. Uh, let's get this SATA guys installed. So this SATA. So if they want to plug in the HDDs in the back over there, they can just do it full stream. Okay, that's that. So I'm going to leave these over there like this and then CPU, CPU cables. Okay, soon we're going to start configuring this CPU. And CPU. Okay. So okay, let's get one of these here. Don't put cables near VRMs. Nope, they are not near VRMs. The VRMs are like hidden behind the back plate, so you can't, well, they're actually, no, yeah, they are actually a little bit over there. So I'm trying to, that's a good point. I thought this had a little back, back plate or back bracket over there that keeps them away, but no, it doesn't. So we'll just keep these away. There, making sure that these aren't there. These are okay. Over there, okie dokie. I think these are these ones over here. And then I think these will all get pushed into there like that. With the other bit over there. This holds them down nicely over there. That's over there. That's that over there. Okay. Just want to put these uh, 
think we're going to do graphics card now on the other side. But I do need a little cable on the other side to configure the RGB. So, so, so. There it is. This cable that goes for the Okay, uh, Jorah is saying, I want to buy a 3060 and I don't know what's the difference between 3060 Tough Gaming, 3060 Asus Strix. We talk almost $200 per difference. There isn't a difference. There's just like a branding difference. One looks a little bit better, has a better cooling and so on, but actually there isn't a difference, um, George A. So, okay, let me install the graphics card now as well and then we're getting there I saw this case while I got confused about where is the PSU shroud or is it not? Oh yeah, it's on the other side. It's very cool. So let's put our 1390 back in over here. <laughs> Do a little bit of dusting. So that's going to go in in there it's it's a heavy boy this one heavy boy i don't think it needs this one off but where is this guy there we go this guy over here Oh no, another RGB. Please. Okay. Forgot about that this is RGB as well. Okay, so that goes in there and then it holds it up. That's very, very cool, cool, cool. Um, 
there is kind of like a GPU side bracket. Let me see how much it is. I think it's still better if we, if we use this one. So. Well, we can put this on the bottom over there. And then make it plug up. So I think I'm going to plug the graphics card in first. And then configure the other things. Okay. Put this first one in so it holds the GPU in place. Okay. Watch your mama. It's very close to the panel, but it's going to get some good, good cooling from there. We're going to tie them up in a moment, and then let's see where does where can we put this? Put this somewhere like that. So it's going to plug in like there, and then yeah, it holds it up. I guess like. Like that. Okay. So there's these to plug them in. Okay, where is that guy over there? Ugh. Okay. Oh, I do. I can't do that afterwards, can I? Nope. Okay. How's it going, guys? We're getting close to turning this PC on. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Just last things to sort out. A lot of RGB, a lot of cables, a lot of things in here. Okay. Hold that in place. Over there. Okay, might leave that one. Ouchy mama. Wow, this will look nice too. Let's not imagine this over there as well. Can you see this all there? So, it's going to be on the bottom there. We keep it up. So, let's see how we're going to get the. Uh... So let's push this RGB on the back over there. Have to connect it into the chain somehow. There's only one, two there, right? Yep. Uh, 
Okay, what's going on? After this build, are you going to sleep or what? Um, well, I'm hoping to uh, I'm hoping to film some more videos because I need to film a video a thousand dollar create a PC build because I've seen some bad options online. So I want to make an update for that because I don't want to go. I want I don't want people to just buy a really badly advised thousand dollar create a PC. Um, whereas I've I've like tested actually all of the parts and I know that these will work much better what uh, what I would suggest than what other people um, are suggesting there so I'm hoping to do this after this live stream uh, okay come on Too much. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, I think we need these longer ones. So I'll get this in there as well. Okay. And then well, well, well. Let's get one of this. And I'll go get this. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Yeah. This is the right one as well. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna use these screws instead because they're a bit better. One, two. And then, well, the idea is that this is gonna support the GPU in there. Okay. I'm gonna have to get this a little bit further down. So, what the heck? No, 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 no. Let me think where is the best place to support it. on first okay hi hi people who are just tuning in nice to see you all here how are you all doing where are you all watching who's who's still here from the beginning is there anyone who's still watching who uh, was here from the beginning mm -hmm. anyone Double check that I'm not on the fans. Okay, that's a good place there. Okay, and where is these screws here?
there we go. This is solid now. Doesn't go up and down, holds the CPU solid. Okay, and where is this cable? One last cable that goes to the other side, another RGB to connect. So are you doing a good, I'm doing a good job on content guiding step by step, helpful a lot of people, thanks once again. Okay, people. 12600K a Ryzen 7 5800X, which is better. Um, 12600K, let me just type this in there. Okay, there we go. That should be a bit better for you guys. Okie dokie. Very, very soon, guys, this is going to be turned on. So, we have these now to plug in over here. One. Ask a question here, Jay. While we're here, might as well just get your question tackled. Drop it here. Should I wait for price to go down or buy Ryzen AP APU like Ryzen 3 3200G? Uh, Will, you have made a great decision. That is an absolute killer, killer, killer uh, video editing CPU. So, I'm just going to think how, which way should we go? I think we might go down through there. Just something like that. Okay. Let's get all these down there cuz that's gonna keep this one okay cuz this looks quite nice over there a little like a whoosh um let me see quickly the uh, need the uh, user manual for the MSI because for the front panel connectors it's always best to check them manual here um, okay where is it Connecting, let me see, number six, okay. Two second front panel connect is thirty eight JFP one JFP one. Okay, it's on the side over there. JFP two. Okay, thirty eight. So let's go there then. So, okay, let's, let me connect these up first. Um, power switch, actually, let this come from the side. 
that's a little bit better. Two seconds. These these power connectors. those power connectors connected over here whoa so many comments let's have a look which is better 12700k or 5900x for video editing 3d 12700k all right so power switch two seconds let's see where are we now Our LED goes there. Power LED, okay. Okay, this is the bit that I don't like at all. Power switch that goes next to it. This doesn't matter. Alrighty. Reset switch goes underneath. It doesn't matter either. Okay, and then what's this? HD LED plus and there. What's this? Okay, close it that way. Okay, front panel levels, headers done, okie dokie, that's good, okay, let me get these through there. Let's have a bit of the GPU, and actually, put these through on the very bottom on the very very bottom because that's much nicer okay Look at that, that looks very nice now here. I think I might put some more combs. Actually, I do think it will look better if we go one, one up, actually. in let me just double see because I can't see a thing over there let's put some light on okay 
where is my zip ties? Two seconds, I'll get some zip ties because. Can't live without the zip ties, especially down there. Uh, do you want maybe it's even better to have? more like someone's made an effort to try to cable manage this rather than a big rat's nest okay that looks better over there just double checking that all the head all the headers are still in Okay, that's it, that's it. I think this looks good. This looks very nice over here, very nice over there. Okay, and the last thing was the RGB header on this side. And the one for the graphics card. This is gonna go. Put a zip tie for this as well. Okay, let's cut these off. How are you guys doing? You're still here? Everything going all right? How's it going over there? Okay, this person needs a ban. Boom. Um, there we go. Uh, not this one. Do I recommend upgrading to Windows 11 only if you're on Alder Lake CPUs? Anything else, stick with Windows 10. You're much better off that way. Okay, so we are 91% done. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, my word, it's heavy. Okay. Let's plug in our GPU cables over here as well. GPU 1. And a GPU 2. Over here. Okay. We had one of these. And let me see... Where was this? Okay. Let's see if we can maybe plug this into the back of, in the back of that one. Because that would be very, very good. Okay. All the RGB connectors really need some tape to hold them tight. But now all the rest of them, we can just basically shove them 
up here like that. So where is our big shroud over here? Okay. This guy is gonna help us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That cleans up our mess. Easy. Let me turn it a bit towards you. Okay. Look at that. Okay. And then these were these screws over here. Let me put these back. Okay. Look how well this hides all the cable management, so you kind of don't need to worry about um, like all zip tying them all down over there because it's like not good for cables as well to like be really bent, you know, like 100 and 180, 360 degrees. Yeah, all the way like bent. So now this way, the cables are nice and loose in there, kind of thing. And then look at that. Our cables are going to go in from there. I think I might have to put a, one zip tie over here as well. Um, okay. Just to keep these cables out of the way a little bit. Okay. Ooh, that's nicer. Much, much, much nicer. Alrighty. Alrighty. So these are our Lee and Lee ones over here. Let's see. Okay, it's time for the moment. Time to turn this guy on. So. I'm going to plug it in in the back over here. Then we have the graphics card over here. We're going to plug this in. Guys, we're going to turn it on now. I hope you're excited. I hope you're excited because this is going to be good. This is going to be good. So we'll plug this in over here so you guys can see what's going on with the screen. Okay. The time for some blink, guys. Okay. Type me some lots of emojis of blings, blings, blings in the comments because uh, it's time to hit the power button. Let me get a keyboard and a mouse. Okay, we'll get this mouse over here. That would do. Let's add it over here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Time for it. It's this one. Let me get a keyboard as well. So we can go into the BIOS and start setting. Most likely we're gonna see some absolute rainbow vom here. Okay, let's see. You guys ready? Let me see what you can see. Okay, let's plug this back. Ta ready? Let me go this over here. Oh, what's going on? Wait a second. Okay, what's going on with this over here? Why is this main camera not working? There we go. Okay, so this is the, um, the display for this one over here. It's turned on. I'm gonna hit the power button. Where the heck is it? Wait a second. It's over here, isn't it? Um, I think this one. Whoa. Oh my goodness, it's very red. 
Oh. Guess what? <laughs> we forgot the ram. Ah, uh, ram sticks empty. Well, let's try it out again. So that's off. Yep, let's get all the charge off in here because that could be bad. No voltage in there. Okay, let's have a look. Put the ram in as well. Some might say you need some RAM in your uh, PC. Tech notice says, <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, let's try this again. RAM in now. Number two. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, here we are. So this is the uh, full screen of the PC, what we're going to be seeing. Uh, let me just show you from the side camera a little bit what's going on over here. All the fans are working. Fans are coming over there. This over there on the top is just doing some kind of dance for us over there. So we're going to have to configure that. Uh, so let's see if we're going to get into the windows over here. Okay. Let's have a look what's going on. CPU power. Okay. 37. Wait a second. Is it? Ah, sorry. Ha! <laughs> it's not. It's not this one. It's this one. There we go. We are. The PC is working because this one was the top camera. That's not working. So this one is the PC. Boom. Look, we are on Windows. So two seconds. I'm just gonna go um, and double check if we can get this. Uh, this on over there okay let's see we're gonna go this way and that way so we can see what's going on uh-huh like that like that um boom uh-huh and pc Okay. Okay. So we are in over here. And then what we're going to be doing is wait, I'm just going to move this around over here because, whoa, that's a bit confusing. Let's do it this way. You guys go over on this side. We'll get this guys over here. And then this over here. Okay, yo, Azzy boy is here. Um, so, um, blah, blah, blah. okay. Let me see what's going on over here. First of all, let's have a look if we have hardware info over here. Nope. Chrome. Yep. We're going to put. Um, don't want to show any personal details, so we're going to just go here and we're going to go uh, hardware info 64. Hmm, no internet. Let's change that. Okay, so there we get in there. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. it'll be here today by 3 p.m. Nice. Sorry, what did uh, Mark Wolf got again? I think I missed something. Should a RAM 3600 megahertz with CO16 or add 44 with CO18? I have an i5 44 megahertz. 44,000 TL18 for sure, wherever that is. 
So we're going to do hardware info. Come on, uh, is it here? No. Oh yeah, there you go. Installer 720. How do you download this here again? Um, There we go. That's what I wanted. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get this tuned. So we have this installed. Okay, so we're going to go on Microsoft Store. Get something here called Cinebench. Because there we can actually test the CPU cooling properties. Let's have a look if. Oh, come on. Uh, is our XMP on? Yes. XMP is on. CPU is going. So we're going to open this one over here. See, yeah, that's still okay. Was looking for a keyboard and mouse recommendation. My keyboard and mouse recommendation video is coming on right later on. Um, so let us see how well does this do over here. So we're gonna have to let's start putting panels on as well because. I'll take the inside plastic off. Okay. So Okay, so this is that, and then let's get this. Do you know what? Because it's an exhaust from the top, we don't need the filter. Let's put the back side on though, because this is um, intakes from the side the back panel then you do want filters on so that goes on this way alrighty okay so here's the case now kind of on and sensors only start running uh, Aaron there okay just like case technology scoring I'm running 3600x VB 16 I want to upgrade the 12700k is better than the 5900x so I'll buy the 12700k and the new motherboard yeah sounds good mate sounds very very good so here we have 16 cores on okay Let's go 10 minutes, 
stress test start. Let's see how the temps are doing over here. Okay. Hmm. Well, that didn't go very well. Okay, let's have a look. What could be the issue over here? Um, was it the CPU that was running very high? Let's double check everything. See, that's why I do these tests, because then you know if everything is working properly. Let's see. Take the side panel off. That will do for me. Okay. I think what I might think... Um, double checking this one thing over here. If there is a good... Okay, that's going on there. Okay, let's have a look. Um, Samsung internet. Okay, how are you guys doing? The PC got too, too stressed out. Let me get this guy up. Up again. Okay, that's for that. This is for our thing over here. Never put the side panel on unless you're 100% done. You are otherwise that. Yes. Okay. I think I have to double check that. Um, well, I'm going to turn it back on because I want to see what the heck was going on. Why was it? If we're going to get a post. Ah, never mind. Um, double checking everything that we have done over here. Okay, it's these ones. Yes. So these go there. And yes, we need that one. Mounting clips, two of these. Yes, yep, yes. Okay, there you go there. Yep. 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 Okay. So this is uh, this is why we are doing this. Okay. Let's have a look. What's going on over here? CPU idling 4745C. That's still interesting because, like, the 
these are definitely in over here. Uh huh. Okay, maybe that's the issue over here, as you can see. Can you see? Suddenly idling lower and lower and lower. I think the cooler perhaps might have not made a perfect contact. Look at that, 35C. Okay. Maybe it wasn't squeezed properly onto the CPU. Let's try again. Let's see what happens. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. It's going to crash again. Something is letting the CPU have too much power. I wonder if there's overclock or something on. Because that should not do that. That should not do that. Okay, let's let's get this one on over here. Where should you look for an RTX 3080? Um, I am not sure. Wherever. Ah, okay, there's an overclock on for this CPU. Um, CPU speed 3.4.6. Okay, all call 4.6. Okay, there's an overclock on. And then, 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 that's why it's not going. Um, maybe this CPU is not so good at 4.6 overclock. So what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be um, da -da -da, da -da -da -da, system status. Um, okay, there we go. We're going to be X and B definitely on, um, but now we're just going to be seeing. I think it's F10. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm going to do this over here now. Let's try this now. It's just the uh, so Roy, someone had an OC on this bot on at the moment and um we're gonna see if if it runs at the normal settings we're gonna see how it actually does then with non oc because um then we're gonna see actually how how good is the actual performance of everything because if you uh, straight away do it with oc it's it's not really comparable with like previous things because you want to know if it actually is able to do a normal thing so this was without the PBO. 
hardware info and we're gonna look for Cinebench. Yeah, sure. Accept. So Is a Ryzen 59, oh, sorry, da, 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 da. makes sense, of course. Um, I have a good question for you. I have an MSI Ace, same motherboard, dashboard, and the Ryzen 15900X. I have a lot of heat problems, like gaming is around 80, just editing video 70 to 80. Uh, either you have a bad cooler, or we'll see how this one goes. Okay, look at that. Let's have a look at what we're doing now here. Okay, guys, now we're talking. So check this out, absolute CPU, CPU like 100% utilization, we are pulling 125 watts and we're 62C on there. So I am quite happy that we can put our panels back because I think you're going to actually get better better performance as well when we put the panels back because it works better like that okay panels back in I don't know why these guys are going RGB flashy 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 over there so let's turn them all white in a moment but okay 125 watts pulled from there uh, looks like I'm happy now. Okay, next up, what we're going to be doing Yeah, the uh, honestly NZXT coolers. I'm not a big fan um, of them. So oh. Okay, that's that now next up we're going to be doing Uh, MSI Center. Come on, block. Um, X five seventy. Unify. Oh, come on. After Effects and Blender stuff with 3050. JS Gaming Hope says, uh, yeah, it is absolutely awesome. It's no problem. Yeah, Roy. It's, it's that's true 125 watt package power with 65 on load 100% load that is absolutely amazing cooling this arctic ones are insane coolers so what we're going to be doing now is um sorry i'll just put myself in there uh support what we want to do is utility on oh. We are on Windows 10. Not see MSI Center. Is there a Dragon Center here as well? No, I think it's MSI Center now. All of it, isn't it? Okay. i5 12600K or 12700K for multitasking, like for game capture and video edits. If you can, 12700K, it's obviously better. It's because the case is an N610 Elite. And everything is N60. Yeah, Tristan, I think that's the problem over there. I would love to see the WRX80 motherboard with a Threadripper Pro build. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome. So we're going to be... Mm-hmm. 
And the B660 basic mower would be enough for like an MSI B68 Gen 3 MW. Yeah, absolutely fine. That will be absolutely fine. Automatic stocks fan speed on that AIO, Roy. Uh, they're just at absolutely uh, basic, whatever the BIOS has done now on the basic thing. I haven't done the. Uh, that configuration yet so uh, we're going to be starting to do that now I just want to configure the RGB so yes 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 I understand I understand so hopefully I can do it all on the MSI center um, motherboard RGB thing Pump at full? No, no, no. This is just one header for the pump and fans on this these Arctic headers. So basically you have one PWM connector and that controls the pump speed and the fan speed at the same time. So they've like configured basically to a one header. It's very easy to install and runs very quietly. The fan speeds are a little bit high to my liking at the moment. They're pushing loads of air in but a little bit too much for my liking. So I'm gonna um, like try to turn them down a little bit. Let's have a look here. Wait a second, what is going on here? Did anyone see that? Um. What am I doing? Um, what is going on over here? Why is it idling? At 70C now? Something's not quite right. Something's not, not quite right. Okay, the radiator is hardly warm, so That is absolutely random. It's idling on higher temps than on full load. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm just checking like the temperature of the radiator so I can see that the liquid is uh, moving properly. That's why I have my hand up there. I just want to see this like warm up on the radiator. On full load, look, the temperature goes down, but on idle, it goes up. Can you see that? That's insane. This is UK over here. Okay, we have some investigation to do. Why is it that it's idling higher than on the load? What is going on? Why is it idling at 70C? And look, it's like climbing and climbing. Hmm. 
Why on earth is it like that? Northeast UK over here. Just want to have this one on to see if. No, I've not always lived in the UK. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a look at the CPU utilization over here. Okay, some calls are going higher and so on. We're pulling 65 watts from it. Why is the idle temperature so high? And why is it pulling so much wattage through on idle? It's almost like the motherboard's messed up or something's weird over here. It shouldn't be pulling 65 watts here doing absolutely nothing at the moment. Okay, this mystic light install, because hopefully that's going to control over all of our headers over here. And this red RGB is doing my head in, so let's see if that goes on over here. Really appreciate, yeah, no problem, mate, no problem. Not enough pressure on the CPU or clear CMOS. Hmm. Should we do a clear CMOS? Yeah, let's do that. Let me try this uh, Mystic Light cover. But the weird thing is, like, when it's on the load, it absolutely works. Yet, on full utilization, it seems like it's not working properly. So I'm wondering what's going on. Let's see if, like these are very tight now. be very tight I don't want to over tighten this over there but I've never tightened it so much so mystic light okay select all we're not gonna go breathing where is uh, st steady where is steady uh -huh. and then white okay and then we go apply Oh. Ah. Oh. Go select all. Steady. White. Apply. There we go. There we go. Okay. Everything is white now, except for the in no.
da, da, I think was it able to do uh, da, 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 um, I think MSI Dragon Center Roy is gone and it's now MSI Center uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, <laughs> doesn't want to play so well with me so I'm gonna be plugging it in there oh, why is this still red Wait, let me double check one thing. Get those white as well. How does this IQ work again? Come on. Why is it not? Why is it not white again?
Why is it red? I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, the most important thing is the um, the most important thing is the Okay, let's start this. Now let's have a look what's going on in here. Okay, interesting. Maybe the thermal paste needed heating up or something like that. Because at the moment we're pulling like 60C at 100% power. 125 watts pulled through. That's like incredible. Okay, let's have a look. So that looked okay, 24,000, that's very good. I'm just tie pulling this. So who's uh, got any questions still? I'm gonna, I'm happy to answer any more questions if you have. It's just interesting to see what you guys think. Maybe the thermal paste just took some time to kind of squish through over there because I did put quite a lot over there. But at the moment, it looks like it's working quite all right, actually. Let's see if it does make a difference. Okay, that's quite impressive actually at the moment. 124. And as you can see, the CPU is very, very, very low temps. 61, 62C. So our cool is working perfectly fine. Okay, I think it's working fine. No, fine. Now let's go into the BIOS and try to get um, these in control.
CPU fan. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this. I want it to go like that. No, that is 75 is completely fine. 60. All right. Oh, sorry, uh, questions over here. You have been working, did you get time to eat or break? Nope, no time or break. I haven't eaten till morning at breakfast, but not till here, okay. System fan three and four, those are them two. So these are gonna be PWM, no PWM, smart fan, Let's get those guys working. Now the PC is more like quiet. I am enjoying this much more than before. What's this over here? 5950X or 12900K for video editing. I hope I've already made the video for you. Um, I've made the um, AMD versus Intel for video editing. I think that's helpful for you to understand and watch depending on your workflow, but generally 12900K is better. Okay, BWM, let's get this system fan this going as well. I want them to like go there. Ish slowly and then shit. Wait a second. Okay, that's them that ones over there. I want these to come and work quite a bit. Over there. I think these ones are the bottom fans, right? Yep. So these are gonna go like there and temperature source PCA one. So that's gonna be the GPU over there. Let's have a look. Okay, they're gonna give lots of these in. Temps looks good at the moment, 49C, but if you can hear it now, it's like super, super quiet. So guys, let's have a look if we made it. I think, is it F10? Yep. Okay, let's see what it's gonna be like now. Oh, actually. Let me put PBO on as well, so we can really push this and see how good this is going to go. Uh, I love 5950X, currently I have this. Okay, so we'll go here, OC, uh, AMD overclocking this one. Let's see what's going to happen now. Now should we should be pushing towards like 200 watts on here. Let's see how it goes. How does it do? I love the 5950X, currently I have the i9-10850K, brother has the 5950X and it's so fast for rendering, yep, for rendering it is absolutely beast, depending like what you do as well, if you do like blender type of stuff then it, it truly is good, but if you do like video exporting then the 12900K is actually better. The Corsa new 5000D case has a sensor which you can attach to your GPU so the fans will rev up if the GPU temps goes high, that's a very cool thing. Hardware monitor. 
Let's get this up. Set the bench on. Ten minutes. I'll just okay, fine. Okay, it's all right. Let's have a look what's gonna go what goes on over here now. Okay. Are we ready? I'm gonna press start on this here and let's have a look. Okay, look at that. PBO enabled 212 watts pulled from the socket. Now that's insane. And we're still like 80, 89, something like that. Now that's a heavy PBO enabled. 210 watts, that's insane. Like we are the 12900K type of temperature over here, so that's, that's insane. What do you guys think? Is it, is it good for a BBO? Let's have a look. 218 watts pulled from the socket. Now, that's quite insane. Let's have a look at what's this. 4.2 all core boost, something like that. 100% utilization. I think the temps are quite all right. Okay, we are like in the 90s, but come on. 218 watts pulled from the socket. That's pretty insane. Yeah, now I can feel those fans pushing warm up air up because, you know, we're, we're, but even at like this type of load, it's not dead warm. It's like very good. Those Arctic fans work really well. Like if you think those fans are underneath over there and it pushes the air through the radiator and then through this like over here, it works really, really well. It's absolutely amazing. There's so much positive pressure inside the case that it actually pushes air out from the back, like these parts as well. So that's pretty good. I think I'm happy with how it's pulling this over here. I think I'm going to leave the uh, RGB configuration for these guys to do. But I'm just curious, like, why isn't the, the motherboard RGB? I just double check all the RGB connectors in the back over there. Oh, that's, that's gone as well. I'll just double check this in the back. But, um, so let's, let's do a reset. Let's take BBO off. Yeah, I could get it even better to get, uh, like, higher RPM from the pump. But I think I'm pretty uh, okay with what we've done over here now. At least I know that it works perfectly. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll let you guys take a look as well so you can see what does this look like. I think I'm actually going to finish this off over here and then... Uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Next video is coming out tomorrow. If you aren't here by then, then uh, I guess uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys for tuning in. And then I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, I think this is a wrap over here. This PC is going on good. Um, look at this case. It's much better with this new case. Temps are absolutely amazing. Um, it looks better. What can I say? It's good. It's very, very good. Okay, guys. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon.